international news reports recently, and fittingly, the International Otter Congress was held here in Singapore for the very first time this week. Here in studio to tell us more, uh, Adrian Liu, chairman of the National Parks Board's Otter Working Group. Working group. Yes, there is such a thing. And N. Sivasoti, senior lecturer in biological sciences at the National University of Singapore. He's nicknamed Otter Man by his colleagues because of his fascination with otters and his pioneering studies on them. Thanks for joining us on the show, gentlemen. Hey, hi. Now, uh, Adrian, let's start with you. Uh, tell us what exactly does this Otter Working Group do? Let's get it out of the way right from here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we still have yet to have our first formal meeting. <laughs> Because it's been very dynamic and we really need on site. So it's actually made up of multiple entities and um, the primary auto watch, which is made for, uh, of uh, members of the community and NUS, um, WRS, and Parks, uh, PUD, and ABA. Right. So um, these multiple entities really uh, give that kind of perspectives, multiple perspectives, and disciplines and knowledge. Um, to solve uh, issues uh, that, that that arise uh, from 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 the, uh, authors, uh, you know, being in the public domain as well, um, and it's really catalyzed by author watch. Um, and when we had to rescue the pup, mm. uh, what happened is that we realized that we needed, you know, to, to talk to acres, you know, we needed to talk to WRS, the vets there, and we needed to talk to NUS and get the scientific background and uh, to solve these uh, mm. issues. Uh, and, and it was really. It offers uh, offered us uh, multiple perspectives uh, to solve a, a, com a, a issue. Okay, uh, Siva, let's talk about the International Otter awesome Congress. Uh, yeah. It's in its thirteenth edition. Uh, yeah. We held it for the birth first time, and the both of you were there, of course. Uh, why do you think there's a need for more research in into these animals? Well, for Asia, um, in some instances, we don't even know what's there. Mm. Uh, so that's quite a fundamental uh, uh, issue to be covered. Uh, there are species which are. Uh, even thought to be uh, almost have disappeared, but they're actually present once we initiate a research project. So as a community, the author specialist group is able to identify areas of priority, uh, look for funding, and in Asia, actually a little bit of money can go a very long way, mm. uh, and then to uncover these things and then identify priorities. Right. Interestingly, although there are a lot of scientists uh, involved, they realize that public awareness is quite critical, and so uh, in the presentations, you don't hear scientists talking about pure research, they always talk about what does the community think and feel, and this range from tribes, mm. uh, or, you know, in certain parts of Asia, all the way to uh, what Autowatch is doing on right. Facebook in Singapore. Yeah. Do you think that's a priority here in Singapore as well, in, in, with regard to research? Uh, yes, because uh, what we are uh, seeing is an unprecedented uh, distribution of yeah. waters in uh, waterways which are empty of top predators, uh, full of lots of healthy fish to eat, and it's these strong swimmers, the smooth coated otters that can uh, eat that size of fish and make use of uh, urban spaces to, to rest and hide. Uh, so they do, they do well. But we have another species, the small claw otter. Uh, it, it can't find uh, appropriate spaces in urban environments, so they're very precious. We have small population in Pulau Ubin and Pulau Takong, and right. MPARCS has made effort to try and see what we can do about them. Adrian, uh, we're going to show uh, the Bishan 10 mm. uh, family on screen uh, in just a little bit. Uh, just recently, they were initially Bishan 5, and quite quite quickly they became Bishan 10. Um, why, why are they thriving so well in Singapore's waters? I think primarily this is because of the clean waters that we have, mm. and verdant green. So um, with these clean waters, you have a lot of fish. And so that's food for the otters. Right. And then with the verdant green, they can come out and you see gentle slopes, they can come out. And there's structured planting uh, in this park. So, you know, they can find refuge in this structured planting and they can rest and they can also find um, places, opportunities to actually have a den uh, or otter hood. Right. And in this otter hood, they can raise their young, you know, mm. they can find a safe refuge uh, from the public as well. Right. Yeah. So. So I think there's a combination of these factors that that helps them. Yeah. Siva, uh, let's bring you back into it uh, just very quickly now. Uh, they've had plenty of human interest, these authors. Uh, so that raises the, the question, you know, what is safe and what should we do um, in terms of human contact, human to author contact? Um, what what should there uh, be in place to prevent any possible conflict, you think? Well, our authors are quite uh, unusual in that they're friendly. Uh, they are author researchers who haven't seen their animals for decades, you know. Mm. And uh, here we have, the first time we went down to track them, uh, they came out of the water, walked past me to my shop. And then we realized, okay, we need to give advice to the general public, watch from a distance. That has been a consistent sort of mantra that was first implemented when they turned out in Gardens by the Bay, uh, carried on to when they were in Bishan. And the Singapore public has been pretty good, they do generally maintain that distance. Uh, you see photographers who seem to be very close, right? 
they start from a distance and then the otters might come over and they freeze. Mm. Uh, so not getting familiar, not attempting to approach them is very important. Right. When they're raising cubs, they might be protective. So uh, it's mm. uh, fascinating in Bishan to see you know, people coming out of HDB and watching right. them, but maintaining the distance and... So they want everybody has been very well behaved. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that important. would work for mm. any wildlife that we hope to see mm. uh, returning as we green up Singapore even more. Alright, thank you very much, Siva. Thanks. And of course, Adrian, for coming on our show and sharing all about otters with us. We've been speaking with Adrian Liu, Chairman of NPARC's Otter Working Group, and N. Siva Soti, the Ottoman from NUS. And with that, we've come to the end of Singapore tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Do come find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Enjoy your weekend.